What's up, YouTube? Rusty Spall, RC5Fitness.com. I got a quick tip and trick for you dieters out there, you meal preppers out there. A lot of people go, they, they, they tell me all the time, oh, I hate prepping meals, I hate getting all the Tupperware bowls out, and can't ever find a lid, I can't find containers. You know, I go to, you know, it's like losing socks in your laundry. You lose the lids to all your Tupperware, all your Rubbermaid, all your, all your Cool Whip bowls, just whatever you're packing your meals in. I got a quick tip and really easy thing that I used to do back in the day before I got so organized. So what I did back in the day is when the Atkins diet first came out, uh, I started getting ulcerative colitis and I, I was gaining some weight and stuff. And so I, I got this fad diet, you know, the, the Atkins diet. But I did it, I read through the book and I didn't like the fat content because I was afraid of eating all this fat and clogging up my arteries and everything. So I kind of stuck with the baked chicken and the vegetables. So what I would do is I would cook up, I would steam a bunch of broccoli and a bunch of uh, cauliflower and some asparagus and, you know, Brussels sprouts, just whatever cruciferous vegetable you want. And uh, that's a mouthful, cruciferous vegetable that you want. And anyway, and then I would bake all my chicken and I would get it in chicken, the chicken strips. I wouldn't get the chicken breast. i get the chicken strips because the strips were just the right size to eat five or six meals a day and so what I would do is I would use the handy dandy sandwich bag and I would put in uh, I'll take like five six seven of these chicken strips and I would put they were really small back in the day now they're making them a little bit bigger back in the day they were like this size they're about the size of like two of my fingers and and uh, maybe a little bit longer, about yay long. And uh, I would take and I would put two of them in a baggie, and then I would take uh, two or three uh, broccoli spears and throw them in a baggie, and I would zip them up, and I would have a baggie of, of chicken, and I'd have a baggie of cruciferous vegetables. And I'd do the same with them with my cauliflower, and I would just alternate. I'd take three or four of these to work a day, and come break time, I'd get up, well, first, I'd get up, I'd make me some eggs, and I would eat eggs for breakfast, and maybe two strips of turkey bacon. I love turkey bacon. Um, I think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. And then um, I would take three or four of these guys to work with me, and I would get a break about 9 o'clock. And so 9, 9.30, I would break out two baggies, I'd throw them in the microwave, juice them up for about a minute or two, get them nice hot, and then I would get my bottle of water and and I'd eat my baggie of chicken and my baggie of broccoli. And you know, I would always, you know, jazz it up with some uh, Mrs. Dash or with some lemon pepper, just something that made it taste good. And I would always marinate my chicken with like uh, some low sodium soy or some low sodium teriyaki sauce or some barbecue, some light barbecue sauce or some honey mustard, just something to give it a little bit of flavor. And so then I would, I would take those and I would eat them every two hours. And you talk about speeding your metabolism up. You can really speed your metabolism up, especially with broccoli and cauliflower and asparagus and Brussels sprouts, things like that, because there's not a lot of calories in it. There's not, there's not a lot of carbs in it. And you actually burn more calories when you're try, your body's trying to break those types of vegetables down. And so... Uh, I just want to give you guys that quick tip today. So, Rusty Spalls from rc5fitness.com. See you guys later. Remember, use your baggies.